For the first time today, we heard from the man who lived in the basement of this local house of squalor. Raymond Rivera fathered some of the children found living inside the filthy home. And today he told a court he had no idea the house looked the way it did because his girlfriend kept him from coming upstairs. Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan joins us in Blackstone with live coverage, including more on what Rivera had to say. We spoke with some neighbors off camera this evening, and they tell us they never really saw Raymond Rivera, but he left a lasting impression in court today. The man who lived in the basement of the now infamous House of Squalor on St. Paul Street faced a judge Wednesday on marijuana-related charges. While the discovery of the deplorable home happened more than two months ago, Raymond Rivera shook uncontrollably in court. He seemed to calm down, then moments later he began to shake again. He told the judge he quit his job and would be using his retirement money to hire a lawyer. Rivera walked out of court and briefly answered questions about what he knew. Rivera, who lived in the same house as his girlfriend Erica Murray, says he only found out back in August that the three-year-old and six-month-old children living upstairs were his. <laughs> I was crushed. Did she do that? When asked how much interaction he had with the three-year-old. Very little. Rivera says he was unaware of the conditions the children were living in, but seemed to know where in the house the three-year-old spent most of her time, whose name we've chosen not to disclose. Supposedly she was in cleaner room because she had cleaner room so that the baby could stay there. Then, claiming he was crumbling and couldn't talk anymore, Rivera walked away. And with this house now being torn down, Rivera says he has nowhere to live. Now, Rivera was ordered to be back in court next month. Meanwhile, Murray, who is being held on $1 million bail, will be back in court in January. Reporting live in Blackstone with the Mobile Newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.